So what's up, babe? So what, you ignore me now? What do you think? Look, I think you're still upset about the retreat. But I thought we hashed things out. I mean, I think we ended things on a good note. I don't appreciate the fact that you came and crashed it. And you know damn well that's my job. How would you feel if I came to the station while you were one of your cases? I mean, I wouldn't make you feel unwelcome. It's not about being unwelcome. It's about professionalism. How do you expect my clients to take me seriously if my partner shows up and just shows all of this function? <laughs> First, it will show them that you're human and you're not a fucking robot. I mean, it will also show them that you're taking your own advice. And it will also show me that you give a damn. Because as of lately, I don't feel like it. Oh, uh, you don't feel like I give a damn? No. The fact that I'm still in this marriage, you see that I still give a damn. <sighs> All right, babe, look, I'm sorry. Let's start over. I wasn't trying to come here and have this argument. Listen, it's going to take more than just one conversation. We have to work real hard. We have to give some dedication. We have to go back to a better place. Look, baby, you're right. I wanted to do whatever it takes. Are you? Yeah. I actually over it because I heard about what happened yesterday. Jarrell, Jarrell was in my face. He was trying to hurt me. He was a bit intimidating. And most of all, he hurt my feelings. He was intimidating. Since yeah. when can somebody intimidate you? Much he less hurt your feelings. He is huge. I'm tall, but he's big. <sighs> and then on top of that, he did. He hurt my feelings. Look, I'm not going to entertain all of that. We need to come to some type of resolution, okay? Mm -hmm. Because whether you like it or not, him and Raven are together. They're having a baby. And they're in love. So let them figure it out. Love isn't enough when the odds are already stacked against them. Hell, just last year, Jarrell was playing happy homemaker with a stringy haired bitch. And now we're supposed to believe that he's going to make this relationship work out with my daughter. Fallon, this is not about you. It's not about me. It's not about exes. The only thing it's about is Raven and Jarrell, how they choose to live their life. I want the best for Raven. I regret pacifying Julian the way that I did when he was here. I mean, if I would have guided him in the right direction, he probably would have been a more honest man. <sighs> Julian was beyond rescue by the time he got to us, okay? Hmm. Raven came wanting love and affection, and he came for revenge. There's a huge difference. Well, it's never too late for someone to change. What are you really saying? I beg your pardon? You go from worrying about Raven's relationship to defending Julie. How about you focus on the job that you have left? Okay. Well, I'll never throw my son away. And although I know you probably do not want to hear this, but I hope when Julian comes back home, he comes with an open mind and willingness to be a better person. <laughs> Real. I well, want my family to be whole again. Well, you know my stance on your son. That's not changing. We forgive him worse. Me and Raven overcame so much. You and Brandon. Save me the comparisons, okay? I know about it. I was there. I'm just scared and happy at the same time. Yeah, I am too. But you need to have some faith in your world, okay? I haven't seen him this happy in a long time. He needs to get a job. And he will. And stop asking Raven when it'll happen. Okay. But the closer it gets to her due date, he better have at least one check in somebody's bank account. Just be supportive, please. I am. I'm throwing him a baby shower. Do they know that? No. Oh, gosh. Can you just ask them, please? It's my gift to them. Ask them what they'd like. Oh, that's okay. Man, I'll run it past him. Okay, is there anything else you need to get off your chest before they get back? I'm just so happy that Raven is having a baby. I am, and I can't wait to spoil him or her. 
Mm-hmm. I'm sure they'll make a great team. Mm-hmm. Don't you tell anybody that I said this. But don't nobody go harder for that girl like Jarrell. And I can say the same when it comes to her. Mm-hmm. Look, this is going to be just a break the cycle of dysfunction that mom and dad started. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You're right. I'm trying. I'm trying. So if what you're saying is true, first off, I want you to stop taking these dangerous cases. I don't know if you're going to make it home or not one day. Babe, listen, I understand what you're saying, but these cases are going to take me to the next level. Look, I can be sergeant soon. I thought you wanted me to get ahead. I want you to get ahead, but I don't want you to hurt yourself trying to get <laughs> Listen, babe, look. I understand what you're saying, and I get that you're afraid of what's going to happen to daddy, but stop, 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 stop. See, this is one of my issues with you. I'm just one. Oh, it's more. But every time I try to tell you something, you just want to dismiss it or just glaze over it. <laughs> so what? You get to control everything we do, huh? Look, I can't be the only one compromising. You got to meet me halfway. So how am I supposed to meet you halfway? Babe, hey, you got to come home at night. You got to be here during the day. I need you. I just can't stop when my clients need me. <laughs> Your clients, right? But what about me? What about us? For better or worse. Okay. So nothing got accomplished. <laughs> what a waste of time. Just like our marriage. So what the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of the back and forth. We, I, need to assess our relationship and see if we can continue or just move on. <laughs> there you go again. You always get to decide what happens. Typical shit, huh? I decide my happiness. Uh, well, I want to thank everyone. Well, Jabril. For- Actually, before you get started, I wanted to take this time to apologize to you, Jarrell. Wait, for for what? You were very aggressive. Um, You were like invading my personal space. But because my daughter is carrying your child, I want to be the bigger person. And I would like to apologize to you for slapping you. What? He got really close. And you know oh, she did. didn't tell you that, huh? Well, I mean, I'm grown. I don't have to tell her anything, but I chose to. And I just apologized. God is good. And I apologize to you too, Bishop. <sighs> okay. Before it takes a turn for well, the worse, okay? I appreciate you saying I'm sorry to him. Do you accept? I'm thinking about it. Thank you for the thinking about it. He was just as wrong as I was, so we both I, owe each other the problem. How was I wrong? Oh, okay. Because at the end there of the goes, day... There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Bring it back. Bring it back. Please, bro. Bring it back. Bro, bring it, bring it. It's always look, somebody else's fault. Oh, Jarrell, look. I just feel like this baby should be bringing us closer together rather than pulling us apart. Okay? He's- look, look. No, Fallon. Look, mm-hmm. I have made a lot of mistakes in the past and almost dying has made me realize I want the best for my family and my future, okay? Mm-hmm. Amen. So, with that being said, Drill, yeah. I need you to step up for yourself mm-hmm. and for those around you. Mm-hmm. And I understand that's going to take some time for you to get your footing. How much time? And that brings me over here to YouTube. You two need to be patient with it. Okay? Don't push it. Okay? okay? Look, this baby is a fresh start for us. So, that being said, it's going to take a village to raise the baby. Mm-hmm. So, all of us are going to be a part of that process. Okay? Well, Amen. <laughs> I'm loving that. So, um, how about 
I pray. You know what I'm saying? I'll pray it to, to, to end this. That was good. What are we praying for? And who's going to lead us in prayer, like for real? Uh, me and just for better tomorrow and, you know, the energy being right. Trying to move on. Let's go. Yes. Can, can we just please? Come on. We need Let's some go. type of vibe in here. <laughs> Lord. Uh, I wish you would hurry up. Plus, I'm super fucking gassy. So we got the little fairy with green hair leading us in prayer. <laughs> Go figure. And Jarrell needs a job. I don't care if you get an FHA loan, a Fannie Mae loan, a stimulus packet, unemployment, whatever you got to do to help him. Lord, let him be the one that gets something up out of this prayer. Here I am praying for this family once again. God, you said keep the faith, but I'm, I'm starting to fake it. So come on, please let this work this time. <sighs> Why is she grabbing my hand so hard? As excited as I am for this baby and happy for Jarrell, I feel for him that he is now permanently attached to Fallon. And I know that she's going to try to bulldoze into their lives, but I know he's not a pushover. I just hope I don't have to play constant referee between the two. Man, Brandon need to hurry up with this prayer so we can get this bitch up out the house. Man, look at her evil ass over there staring at me. I swear to God, I can't stand her, man. But she is fine as hell. Damn, I gotta stop thinking like that. That's my girl's mom. My family together, and I just pray that we all just get along and we all love each other, dear Lord. And I thank you that we become close as a family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Well, God sure does answer prayers because I pray that you would cover up that green hair. Uh, you see. <laughs> Oh, oh, well. Is it time for her to go now? Oh. Excuse me, this is not your house. Oh, okay, listen, okay, listen. okay, okay. We just came from a great Wait. prayer. Listen, Jarrah, I would be more supportive. I promise. I love to share the mom with your support. I love you too, Ruby. And we'll figure this out together. together. Yes. As long as he's working. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll be upstairs. In someone else's house. Uh, Do we just have a meeting? We just pray. You know what, babe? I'm, I'm proud of you. Look, I'm stressed out. <laughs> yeah, I, you've handled that well. I'm just glad we got through it. Okay. Me too. But you're blessed, so. You're mm. right. I did. We are. We're blessed. Well, thanks for still inviting me, even though Derek is under the weather. Yeah, I was sad to hear that he wasn't coming, but it's cool. He encouraged us to still hang out. Right, since we're resetting our friendship. Right. Uh, okay. Refresh. Fresh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to that. <laughs> so about this uh, celebration. Oh, yeah. What are we doing? I mean, I actually have some ideas. I was thinking like, like a masquerade party. Okay, masquerade. I was thinking just a game night or something. Well, who know? A game night. Everybody does a game night. <sighs> All right, and I haven't had the best success with game nights. Sounds like a story behind that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, are you still inviting Saquon, or is he still on the deal or whatever? I'm not inviting Saquon or anybody else for that matter. Okay. Niggas are crazy. I don't know if you do. Oh, I definitely know niggas are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I trust you? Yeah, I'm your therapist now, so you got to. Well, now I don't know if I can. <laughs> All right, wait. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, you can. This is an open space. Talk to you. <sighs> Take a risk on this. Take a risk. Well, risk actually gets you in trouble, so. Boy, just let it out because you don't need that storm in you. And plus, I don't really care anyway, so. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember I was telling you about that bottom? Boy, there's so many bottoms, I don't know. At the sleepover, I was telling you guys a story, was you not listening? I really wasn't feeling you at the sleepover, so I probably was thinking mean thoughts in my head or 
Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Is this the one that you said went to church and you didn't go to church or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so you weren't listening. Maybe. Okay, okay, okay. I'm listening. <laughs> All right. Well, um, things kind of got physical between us recently. Wait, y'all was fighting? Not exactly. Um, I put my hands on him. But he was refusing to leave my house, so I didn't know what else to do. So y'all were like tossing him? Like what? what? No, what I, I definitely else? was the aggressor. Okay. But uh, I just, he just took me to that place. I hate feeling like I'm not in control. Well, I invited him over to apologize. You know, just to clear the air. And he told me that me being aggressive like that turned him on. Kind of okay. Exactly. So did he try to force himself on you or what? Well, he's making me fuck him. Like he has me by the balls, literally. How does someone make you fuck them? I don't <laughs> blackmail. He's blackmailing me. His husband is a... Whoa, 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 his husband. Wait, 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 wait. That's exactly how I felt when I found out. But his husband is some powerful politician and he's threatening to use his power to destroy my life. How old is this man? He's 21. Wait, you're letting a 21 year old blackmail you? He's 21, but his husband is some old guy with a lot of power and I feel like I can't do anything. August, let me ask you a question. Does this stuff turn you on? Like, what? Do you like trauma, like someone making you fuck? Like, does do you like the sex? Does your dick get hard? The sex, the, the sex is good, but I don't like him like that. We're we're not compatible. He has a husband, and he cheats on him. And I ugh, look, I don't know what to do. I really just want him out my life. Okay, so you really want him out your life? I do. Okay, I got a plan. What plan? All right, so this we should go. So I think that. What about Laura? That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, she's the least problematic in the family. She's sweet, responsible, and I know she spoiled the hell out of her baby. I mean, and I like her. She's pretty cool to me, so I guess that's one down. Yeah. So, have you been thinking about Godfather? Oh, um, you know, my first pick would be Derek. But I guess we can't ask him right now. Or at all. Look, let's let's not do that. Um, <clears throat> let's think. Who else? What about Brandon? That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. I mean, he loves us. Mm -hmm. I think he would make a great Godfather. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, just seeing how he treats everybody else, I think he. Would. He has God in his life. Oh, yeah. The baby needs some religion in this yeah, family. I mean, <laughs> better to be the Godfather than God himself, right? Yeah. Um, I like that idea. Me too. He's upstairs. You think we should ask him now? Yeah, let's tell him. I got here as fast as I could. What's up? What's the emergency? Uh, you look nice. These pants are cute. What's up? Thank you. Um, no emergency. I just wanted to see you. Oh, you want to see me? What's up? See me? So see, see you. Me? See me? Talk to you, you What's know? up? See me? See me? Like, yeah, you here? I, okay, let's get a pop and take your pants off. Right, it's not giving that. What did I tell you about that? Uh, I, I just wanted to it. talk to you about something. I wanted to introduce you to someone, actually. Is that where there's another glass? Mm, that's exactly why there's another glass, actually. <laughs> what up, Kyle? Um, yeah. Hey. Oh, mm, it's all good. Thanks, babe. <laughs> What's <sighs> going on? Oh, I wanted to introduce you to my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah. Hey, I'm Ashton. How are you? Hi, I'm Kyle. Good. August and Ashton. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I just wanted to be clear about things. Clear. You know? I'm also in a relationship. Uh, do you want a drink? No, it's I okay. I can make you a drink if you want a drink. It's okay. Did you want to go and talk? I have to talk to you about something. Oh, anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of us. It's totally fine. I know everything. It's okay. Yeah, we're like two peas in a pot. Oh, he knows, <laughs> sure. he knows everything? Yeah, of course. I mean, why not? Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think I'm about to leave. What? You just got here. No, it's okay. I, I, I rushed over from work. It's busy. I I gotta go. Okay. So, I, mean, you shoot I will see you very soon. Hopefully, I'll see you again, Kyle. Uh-huh. It's fine. See you later. Drive safe. You know what? Yeah. Yes. That was pretty easy. So, you mean to tell me you let Plankton blackmail you basically <laughs> look I didn't think that would be so easy but hey hey make it work okay yeah. <laughs> easy peasy like yeah. taking candy from a baby taking candy from a 21 year old baby exactly <laughs> Brandon yo Brandon come down here what's up um Brandon and uh we got something to tell you what happened? What's going on? Look, just come sit down. Is everything okay? Do you want to tell him or should I? I think you should tell him. Um, I mean, this isn't really easy to say, but um, Raven and I were thinking. And hoping that you will be the baby's godfather. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. And you? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Yeah. I'll give it up. Be careful. Be yes. careful. I'm sorry. Yes. Thank you. You had me freaked out, boy. <laughs> what? Yes. What made you ask me? I mean. Seems like you're the best person for the job. Baby needs some religion. <laughs> sure you got you a lot help. of it. Yeah? <laughs> and I mean, we just see how you care for us and love mm-hmm. us and just love Where everybody you around you. So we thought you would be the best fit. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm on. And I, I'm going to be fully hands on when the baby's born. Oh, we know. We, we know. know. <laughs> so go. Oh my god. Careful. I'm sorry. I know how to know. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Give my baby no green hair. I'm not. <laughs> I promise. Maybe I'm going to try. I'm going to test some things out. Okay. <laughs> uh, What's up, babe? Listen, you've been here for two days. You should go back to the condo. No. It's about us handling things like an adult. There's nothing to talk about. Everything is split down the middle as per the prenup. <laughs> Look, I don't give a fuck about no fucking prenup. The two condos that we had, the house in the mountains, the three cars we got in the fucking garage, we did that together. And I'm not letting it go. <sighs> See, we're still in character. I'm not surprised. Everything comes so naturally to you, undercover detective. Yo, fuck you, Donald. Yo, stop pretending that this shit is about my fucking job. So it's all in my head, right? The late nights, canceled dinners, canceled reservations. I didn't get married just to stay single. Oh, stay single. That's exactly what you've been doing, right? So it's also my imagination that you thought undercover meant being undercovers with any motherfucker who happened to jaywalk. Look, I'm an officer of the fucking law. It's what I do. Listen, we discussed you doing this shit for a few years until we until we what? Look, babe, this is my calling. This is what I meant to do. Your calling. So did you forget that you forgot to confide within your husband when your calling hit? You just do whatever the fuck you want. Without any respect or regard for me. Just like you did at the retreat. <laughs> Yo, this fucking retreat, bro. 
it's like I've apologized multiple times. Yo, you just don't want me to be as successful as you. Admit it. You force that narrative to be true so badly that now you believe it. <laughs> Yo, let me let me calm down. Babe, look. Listen to me. Understand me. I just feel like you want to be this big time doctor that takes care of this uneducated motherfucker from the ghetto. Is it true? I'll just let you continue to deflect from your own shortcomings. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Yeah. And I'm starting to feel like I don't need to care either. I'm tired of waiting for you to change. <laughs> yeah. This is not, this is definitely not what I expected. But it's where we are. <laughs> Yo, I got something to do. I'll be back. And I suggest you stay there. So, babe. So I've been doing a little, you know, brainstorming. I've been on Pinterest, looking at stuff. So how do you feel about green and white for your apartment? I definitely like green. That's my favorite color. Okay. So you like green. So I'll show them out the way, bro. Okay. Well, how do you feel about either green and white or green and gray? I mean, as long as it's not... No flamboyant ass color. Okay. And okay. no animal part. Okay. And no orange. Definitely no orange. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's wrong with orange? Because orange is my favorite color. I love orange. Orange you can do in the summer. You can do it in the winter. Nothing is wrong with orange. I'm just tired of looking at it. I've been seeing a lot of it. Before. All right. Green and gray it is. <laughs> okay. I'm just glad that you trust me. I'm not going to let you down. I know you know. I do oh. trust you. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I've been thinking. You know, since I'm, you know, we be making all this money now. Uh -huh. I think it would be nice for us to take a road trip. Some place that's nice, hot. So you want to go to Africa? Okay. <laughs> Let's go to Africa then. One day, but not after <laughs> right now. <laughs> and definitely not back to that crazy ass psychiatrist house. I'm definitely not going. It was nutty ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a therapy retreat that we were at for you. You didn't like it. We were able to connect and get closer and talk about our feelings. I feel like I wasn't a crazy out. <laughs> also, talking about your feelings makes you crazy. <laughs> nah, babe. I just want to do something nice for us. You know, go to a real vacation spot. I got you, babe. So I've been doing some thinking too. And I changed my mind about what I said. About what? So if we're going to be in your boss's house, I feel like I should meet her. I mean, I'm here whenever she walks in and then she sees me, she sees you, and I just... That ain't going to happen. Well, that ain't going to happen. happen. I, you, know, you know what? I know what. You know, we're still catching up and stuff like that. I just don't think it's... Boy, you said you've been knowing this person since you were a little kid. So now all of a sudden y'all don't know each other? <laughs> I just uh, okay. You know, I just don't I think don't it's a know. good time, babe, right now. You know, we're still getting reacquainted and catching up and things like that. And I really don't like missing mixing my personal life and my business life. I don't. Okay, well, if I'm gonna be in her house and my personal body is in here, I feel like I should meet her, <coughs> honestly. Let it go, babe, all right. Why don't you want me to meet her? That's the thing I'm trying to figure out right now. What is it? I mean, if you're with me, you say you're with me and you're not doing no funny stuff. She don't like you. What? What do you mean she don't like me? She don't even know me. Actually, wait. She's heard stuff about me, which is pretty much lies. So, okay, whatever. You know, Easton is the smallest town. Don't remind me. Well, okay, I don't like her either. And this place ain't that cute. Like her, man. Well, good. You ain't gotta like her, she ain't gotta like you. I right, but you wanna respect my work and my business. I don't wanna mix the two. 
I don't know. I don't care. It's not that serious. All right, so when do you think you'll have the place, though? When I meet your boss. There you go. Capiche? I'm hungry. I'm cooking. <laughs> so what's going on? You want to see me? Yeah, man. Um... Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying like this time we had together. It's cool back and forth, you know. Uh, but wait, why? Why sound like you ain't trying to keep it with me? No, 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 it's not that. It's not that at all. Um, the thing with my sister, man. What you mean? What about? I just don't want to do it anymore. That's it. Like, <laughs> you don't want to do it anymore. No what you mean? I'm tired. The whole her trying to get me, me trying to get her, I'm just I'm over it. I'm always gonna be moaning and I'm just done. This is crazy. You you put me through all of this and now all of a sudden you're done. The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> you through what? My age, I have to sleep with her possibly. <laughs> I'm chilling with her all the fucking time. Every time she if she needs me, I'm at her fucking beck and call. What's going on? Sounds like a pressure. You leave her alone. Like I'm, I'm done with it. Nah, but I'm this close to a breakthrough with your sister. We can't just stop now. Bro, I'm over it. I changed my mind, man. Nah, you ain't changed my mind. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We, we are this close. We are this close. Why is this so important to you? I'm trying to help you. Me seeing the satisfaction on your face is important to me. I'm over it. Nah, nah, come on, come on. We, we, again, we are this close. This close. Look, just sleep on it. Just think about it. Don't give up just yet. <sighs> I feel like I made my mind up, but, okay, I think about it, but I really changed my mind, bro. Look, just sleep on it. Hit me up in the morning, all right? Well, I'm glad that everybody can have dinner together before the holidays start. Everybody's so busy and doing their own thing. Well, I'm happy that my brother invited me to dinner. Yeah. This was nice and different. Yeah, real different. I'm gonna go ahead, yes. You know, I was thinking. Sometime next year, you know, like around the holiday time, you know, I can't wait to come to you and Jarrell's home. You know, the home that you guys purchased together. You know, money from out of each one of your accounts to grab something that you both own. And I'm going to cradle my grandbaby. I'm going to allow Raven to get some rest because hopefully you'll be at work, correct? Preferably, you'll be at work. And then I'm going to have my interior decorator come in and spoof up the place because, of course, you need him. It's just going to be great. That's nice. I know, isn't it? Is I it? know. Is yes, it nice? Yeah, thanks, Valen, but I think we can handle it. You think? Yeah. Like you said, I think, I think we got it, right? Baby? Yeah, we got, we got it. Well, baby, but we really appreciate it. My baby. I know that you probably think you guys have it together, but I know you have it. But a home is so much more than a bed and a crib. Hey, Fallon, it. Fallon, didn't we agree to stay out of their lives? Let them handle it? Yes. Okay. Does, does anybody want some other drink? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're, you're oh, yeah. Mm. No, we're speaking of holidays oh, and oh. us being a family and everybody getting together. Seems like this is a couple's dinner and somebody's short. Oh, I'm not sure. My man is working. He has a job. A always. word that you can't relate to. Job. J-O-B. Seems like he's always working that job. And not a few. How's the wedding planning going? How's the wedding planning is going great. You know, I'm going to have something small and beautiful and intimate. You know, I can afford a big wedding, you know, because I have money and a job. But 
we decided to do something just for the family. I didn't, I even thought about inviting Tessa. Only if she agrees to take a breathalyzer at the door. Uh, oh, really? It's my wedding. It's my daddy. It's my money. So it's my way. Solid. They say that the same. Yeah, they do. I'm surprised you guys haven't even called it truce yet. I mean, listen, don't mm-hmm. hold your breath on it. It's way deeper than just a truce. Deeper. It's like, uh, deeper. Mm-hmm. Well, honestly, whatever it is and whoever it is, I don't want no negativity around my child. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if Val and I can put our differences aside, I think anybody can. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's the truth. Well, you know what, Jarrell? Honestly, I just need to say something to you. I'm willing to put the whole fiasco with Melanie aside and allow you and my daughter to have an okay life. And I will never bring up the shit again. I'm kinda trying. Don't, kinda don't believe you, but I appreciate it. As you should. Hmm. Okay. I might need something stronger than water. Yo, she'll be on another note. Mm-hmm. I finally feel free. Free? Yeah, I finally feel like I'm a free man. Like mentally free? Exactly. I just, I think working with somebody with connection, somebody who has power, mm-hmm. will get me to the next phase of my life that will get us to where we need to be. Oh, us? Yes, us. Okay, I'm listening now. I feel like this could be a really good move for me. Also, too, you know, this past year has been nothing but ups and downs for me. It's been real crazy. Right. So that's why I feel like with this new job, like, it makes me feel like everything is going to be all right. For me, for, for, for both of us. And we can get everything that we want and do all that we've been trying to do, what we've been talking about. I hope so. Well, I know so. I feel really good about it. I feel good too, baby. And that's why, you know, you hustling and stuff has inspired me too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's why I'm going to like really buckle down and get serious about my designs. Like, I don't know. I dream about, you know, one day being a power couple and... I don't know. I want you to be the person by my side. We can be a power couple together. I know we can. So you want to always be by your side. Uh, so you want to be with me and be a power couple. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z. Okay. We'll be buddy for that. <laughs> okay. I love it. Enthusiasm. Don't smoke no cooking. All right, here you go. You know, mix it all up. See? Look, you ain't Beyonce yet. <laughs> Look, I'm not cooking, because I'm pretty sure Beyonce don't cook. Um, but you know, you got all this water cash, we can go to Nobu or you know, we can go to Mr. Chow or um, the money only. <laughs> what? I'm not cooking. Alright, let's go. Maybe Applebee's or lobster or something. We have to make a reservation. Boy, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's just go see. Yeah, what my song up? What's up, baby? What are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean what I'm doing? What are you doing? Hey, chill out. I'm going to bed. No, you're not. Babe, come on, stop playing with me. Come on. Come on, stop playing, baby. You think you out here looking like that and you think I'm not gonna get none? Please, listen, I'm tired and I have work to do. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to put that look at the bed. Oh, that me that me that shit. Go downstairs, go to the guest room, yeah. go to the other condo. This bed? No. Babe, no. Stop fucking playing. Come here. Let me eat that ass. Oh, so you just want to take it? Yeah, this shit is mine. <sighs> no, listen. 
ました。<笑>Disrespectful. It's just the truth. At least somebody understands what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. Uh-uh. But anyway, I'm just. You guys have each other, and I should have someone. I mean, I deserve to have someone. I'm deserving of a puppy. It's not fair. I deserve it. But I got my money. And I got a career. And I got good sex. And in everybody's business. All of in everybody's business. I mean, she has that. Definitely that. Well, why don't y'all tell me how you really feel? Can I start? No, you have to have a job first. You're starting to sound like Tessa. Sorry. I'm gonna call my driver. Because I had too much truth, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Amen. Okay. Yeah. I can help you down the steps or down them. Just can you please help her outside? Yeah, I'm, a- I'm calling my driver. We heard you the first time. Oh. Well, cheers. Cheers. Uh-uh. What's your problem? Why you seem aggravated? Drell, why weren't you in the office today? What? What? Why weren't you in the office? 
Oh. That was today. My bad. Your bad? I get you a job and the only thing that you say is, oh, it was today. My bad. Look, I'm going to be honest. I thought about it and I just can't do it. I'm not cleaning up behind people's shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm giving you a job. What, you got too much pride or something? No, I just don't want to do it. Look, my mother was a maid for that family for years. And look what that turned her into. A bitter woman and a schemer. I don't want that for myself. The fuck does that have to do with you? You think people at the grocery store, at the gas stations, you think they want to work their jobs? Well, since it's so easy, how about you take the job and give me your position? You're not qualified to take my position. And clearly you wasn't either. Your grandfather gave it to you. Yes, my job was given to me. So what? If I didn't have it, I'd be out there doing what I gotta do for my child, just like I did before. So what, you be stripping? <laughs> you better be glad I got more control than Fallon, because I would slap the shit out of you right now. You know what? Right. That was a low blow, and I'm sorry. It was. But, honestly, I would rather go back to selling drugs than to clean up behind that family. Your ass better become Frank Lucas then. Because I'm not helping you with no fucking bell money. Not like you helped me out the first time. Joel, I am sitting here as a changed woman than what I was five years ago. And I'm trying to get you to get on the same path with me. But if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to just set a year plan, after your year plan, you set a three-year plan. If you don't want to do this shit with me, then we could just co-parent. Because I really want the best for you. I want the best of you. And you playing yourself right now. I'd rather just co-parent.